I have to teach them how to be successful. I have to be there. I have to hold their hands. Someone held mine, and it got me to where I am. And it's my job to do the same thing. I grew up in a two-parent home in a very rural Marion, Alabama. There were four boys and two girls. My parents deliberately sent me to a school where everybody looked like me. They taught us at the end of the civil rights era, you can't be as good as anybody else. You have to be better. The way you speak, you have to be better. The way you dress, you have to be. The way you look, your education, what you learn. So we had to be successful. We didn't, we didn't have a choice. I am tasked to do the same thing for these children. As I sit in the same seat that those people sat in, I have that obligation to the children that I am connected to. They, they're children, but they, hey, they're gonna be some productive citizens for our community, and that's what's in the making at Banks Academy. No one wakes up in the morning and say, I want to fail. They all dream. But a lot of times when they dream and they don't see, like I say, someone that looks like them, they don't see the path of how I can get there, then those dreams, as Langston Hughes says, become deferred. And eventually they die. And then what happens, I just settle. I want them to know, you don't have to settle. You know, we, we can celebrate your success because you don't have to settle. One of the things that we want them to do is to be servant leaders. You know, we have the three R's. It's about respect. If they don't know how to respect themselves, how can I respect you? I want them to have relationships, know how to have peer-to-peer, -peer, peer to adult relationship. And then the other thing is representation. When they leave here, when someone see a child walk down the street with the Banks Academy shirt, I'm like, ah, I saw those Banks Academy students. I've heard about them. So that's why we do our creed every single day. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am created in the end, created to rise up. I respect myself, my community, and the We are Banks Academy, and we will soar to higher heights. Yeah! Oh! I want to provide that quality education so that the doors are open for them. promise them anybody that benchmark would get like $50. I've never seen so many students so excited about taking an assessment in my whole life. The gains that we've seen on our assessments, it's like, wow, wow. Stand for a free ACT benchmark. Alex Smith. Yeah. And Miriam Knight. Those that made ACT benchmark. Mr. Jabari. Yeah. Right now, I'm at about $500 out. Yeah. But I mean, you know what? That's what you want. You want to see them wanting to achieve. I am commissioned to make a difference in young people's lives. And that came from my upbringing, that came from my, my parents, that came from those teachers that cared, those teachers that said, you can't just be good, you've got to be better. What I'm doing every single day, what I'm doing, man, that's gonna matter 10 years down the road. My vision for Banks is that we grow, and I don't mean just physically, but that we grow and we grow together. That this culture is built so that, you know, when somebody come in here, you know you're safe, you know you're secure, you know you got somebody that's got your back. And you know when I leave here, I'm gonna be prepared for whatever this bigger world has to offer. I think Banks Academy is one of the best kept secrets in Birmingham. I want the city to know it. I want the community to know it. I want everybody to know it. That you know what? You guys got some game changers that's coming along.